Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video. In this, uh, in the last learning video, we have taken one example on method three, that is method of multiplier. And I'm taking one more example, an important one, okay, to get the solution of Lagrange's equation using method of multipliers, okay. So without much ado, let us start with the given equation is this. The given equation is the given equation is this then here what is p here p is equal to 1 by a into b minus c what is q 1 by b into c minus a and what is r 1 by c into a minus b x y this is x z this is y z okay now after writing down this just write down its auxiliary equation its its auxiliary equation is dx by t 1 by a b minus c y z q dy by q is 1 by b c minus a x z and dz upon 1 by c a minus b xy <clears throat> okay so now use the multipliers and try to get the solution of this so can you give a try to this problem so just pause the video for a few seconds come up with the multiplier and then resume the video So I hope you might have got the multipliers for this. So if I take A here, so A will get cancelled with this. And if I multiply this by X, this by Y and this by Z, so what it should be? X, Y, Z can, X, Y, Z common plus B minus B minus C plus C and minus A plus I get cancelled. So I am getting 0. So I can write here choosing, choosing a x b y c z as as multiplies as multiplies then say so this is to be equation number one then each fraction of equation one then each fraction of equation one is equal to what is this a x d x plus b y d y plus c z d z upon upon now you write this a x into 1 by a b minus c y z plus a y 1 by b into c minus a x z plus uh, a b y b y this is b y this is c z into 1 by c a minus b x y so this c get cancelled with this b get cancelled with this a will cancel with this okay now now you can take x y z common throughout and you can write a x d x b y d y c z d z upon x y z common and we remain with b minus c c minus a a minus b into x y z and all these get cancelled so zero into anything anything so numerator denominator zero implies numerator zero this implies a x d x plus by dy plus cz dz equal to 0. Now integrate this. When you integrate this, you will be getting ax square by 2 plus b y square by 2 plus c z square by 2 is equal to say some constant. Okay. You can take c1 by 2 by why because all the terms are having 2. So it is easy. If you don't want, you this answer is also correct. This answer is also correct. Okay. But if you take by 2, so then 2 get cancelled. 
and you can write that is ax square plus by square plus cz square is equal to c1. So this is my first integral solution. Now I want you to try for the multipliers to get the second integral solution. Okay. So again pause the video for a few seconds and uh, think over it that what multipliers we can take to get the solution of this problem. So I hope you might have uh, get the uh, multipliers. So what multipliers you have taken? So a square x, b square y and c square z. So a square x, b square y, c square z. So this is a square x. So a get cancelled, one remaining. a square x, b square y and c square z. <coughs> So, when you solve this, x, y, z will remain constant, but we will be getting in the denominator as a into b minus a into c plus b into c minus a into b plus a into c minus c into b or b into c, one and the same thing, x, y, z. So, minus AC plus AC, BC minus BC, ABC. So, as you can see, we are getting denominator is equal to 0. So, once you are getting denominator to be equal to 0, this is A square X, B square Y, C square. So, numerator must also be equal to 0. Integrate it. So, on integrating, what you will be getting? A square x square by 2 plus b square y square by 2 plus c square z square by 2 is equal to c2. If you want you can take c2 by 2. So what will be getting? We will be getting a square x square b square y square c square z square is equal to c2. Simple. So, we got this second integral curve or second integral solution. Then what you are waiting for? Just write down the final answer. Therefore, the general solution is. Therefore, the general solution is. What is the general solution? Phi of uv is equal to 0. So, phi of what is my u? ax square plus by square plus cz square and what is my c2 sorry let me write c1 and c2 and second one is a square x square plus b square y square plus c square z square equal to c don't forget to write where phi is an arbitrary function then so this is what we have in this learning video so you'll be having such kind of problems to solve so go through it nicely if you have any problem you can email your queries to me okay so thank you for watching this learning video have a good day enjoy learning mathematics thank you